announcing Tumble Home's latest book, Rescue in Panama, Can We Save the Frogs? by Dr. Eva Pell. You are seriously asking me why I wrote a book about frogs? There are so many great reasons. First off, there are so many of them, 5,000 different species in the world, and so diverse. Some as small as the Cuban tree frog, half an inch, and some like the West Africa Goliath frog, 15 inches and seven pounds. Can you possibly wrap your head around that idea? And they're so beautiful. There are bright yellow ones. There are Kelly green with red eyes. There are blue ones with black spots and so many others. And they play a pretty important part in our food chain. They scarf up disease-causing mosquitoes and other miserable insects. The tadpoles are like mini Zambonis and they scurry across the pond sucking up the algae that cause all kinds of pollution in ponds. And let's face it, they are in the middle of the food chain, so they are a mighty tasty meal for quite a few predators. Unfortunately, frogs are in trouble. Out of those 5,000 species, 900 of them are thought to be endangered, and scientists think as many as 200 frog species have actually gone extinct. Why, you ask? I'm glad you did. Well, habitat loss is obvious, but there's another reason. Many of the frog species in the six continents where we find them have fallen victim to a pandemic. Sound familiar? Mm -hmm. Their pandemic, which has been going on for years, is caused by a fungus. There is no cure and there's no prevention. So what scientists have been doing is gathering up healthy males and healthy females and two by two putting them into very special environmentally controlled chambers where they can breed them and keep them safe until the day comes when there is a prevention or when the or when the pandemic perhaps just subsides and then they can be released saving many of these species for our planet and that is why I have written Rescue in Panama, Can We Save the Frogs?